what are we here uh, for today? I don't know, you didn't tell me. Yeah, but what, what do you have in your hands there? Oh, you didn't give me the brief, but I can improv, I can do improv if you no, want. No, no, that's okay. Okay, we're here to try the new Polaroid One Step Plus. Very cool camera, and you can actually connect it to your phone via Bluetooth, which is mad. Once you connect it to your phone, you can actually trigger the camera with your phone. So you can also do a self timer. And this allows you to do a shot of yourself, for example, uh, with a One Step Plus. You can also do double exposures. Double exposures allows you to take two exposures in the same Polaroid frame, which is very cool. I've seen some very interesting things uh, done online and the results are amazing. You can do light painting. Light painting, very cool. You use your phone, you open uh, via the app, you press, the camera will open the shutter. You do a light painting thing with your phone, very, very cool. And then you press it again, it closes, and then you can see the results straight away in your Polaroid camera. There's a noise triggering function. I believe this function allows you to kind of make maybe a, a clap or a shout or something like that. It will trigger the camera to take an exposure. Also, it has a manual mode. Very cool to see manual mode in a camera marketed for enthusiasts and kind of amateur photographers. So very cool to see manual mode added via the app uh, for the Polaroid One Plus. One Step Plus. Okay, so this is what it is, the cartridge thing. We're gonna put the cartridge in the camera. Very easy. You're gonna open here. You see this, and then cartridge goes like that with the little kind of sticker pointing out. You put it in, squish it in, click, that's it. And it does that, and then it's something to cover the images. So very cool, so the other images inside don't expose themselves. So that's it, camera is ready to go. Something very cool here is that the camera actually tells you how many exposures you have left. So once you put the cartridge, it will tell you with this uh, orange light that there's eight exposures uh, and you can kind of know how many you have left. So very cool, you're gonna turn the camera on here. You have now two lenses. So one for landscape or kind of infinite focus. It says in the app that it's supposed to be six meters. And then the other one is a portrait lens. Okay, so once you have the camera set up and you've seen the explanation about how to connect it to your phone, you can just begin taking photos. Uh, I'm gonna just try it out now to see this light. Let's see how this works. Camera is on, portrait mode. This is the shutter release button over here. And that's it. Let's try a frame of Kelly. <laughs> that's it. You got your first photo. Very, very cool. I, I love this camera because being a digital shooter, I've never shot film, never in my life. You always have a hard drive full of loads of photos. Maybe you put them to Instagram, Facebook or whatever. People nowadays, because of digital cameras, don't really print their photos. And I think that's okay. It's like a thing that we, we should do more often. You don't have that photo album, like a physical photo album that you could see and kind of appreciate. Polaroid makes these little cool photos and it makes it so cool. It's, it's a physical photograph you have now. It will take a while to develop, but point is that I think this camera has a space in the market and, and it's very trendy, it's look, it looks cool. And for like certainly older people, it would, bring back a bit of melancholy from, from the days of uh, traditional photography. Nowadays everything is digital, so physical copies of photos that represent memories are cool. So I think this camera will do very well and it's already doing very well. I've seen online a lot of people using the cameras and if you are creative you can use it in amazing ways. I think we're going to try now to do a multiple exposure or a double exposure photo with the phone and, and let's see how that works. I'll show you this photo afterwards. Okay. <laughs> it can't be this complicated. Take us a photo. Okay, ready? 
Kaylee's gonna stand there because she can't do the thing both hands. Wait one second. I'm going to press one exposure now. So that wasn't too complicated. It took us like <laughs> half an hour to figure it out. Once you have your first exposure, uh, the screen changes to number two and there's no photo coming out. So now we're gonna find maybe those trees up there and we're gonna get our second exposure and I'll show you now. For this one, I'm actually gonna press that little button there which uh, will stop the camera from releasing the flash. So that way I don't have flash in that. A photo. So I'm gonna go and do that now. Okay, and that was it. So now we have to wait like 20 minutes to see this photo. Hopefully, it came out good and it looks okay. It's getting a bit dark now. Uh, I forgot my gorilla pot in the other backpack, so I'm up to doing with the hand, and this is very, very heavy. So, camera, what I like about it, it's a very cool camera, and uh, the Polaroid One Step Plus. It's a, it's a different tool. The photos are not the sharpest photos, but again, it's a, it's like a cool camera to have. And then the, the frames, the fact that you have them straight away after you've taken the photo makes it cool to have, like if you're going on a trip with friends, you can, you, know, you can have memories on the spot of the actual trip, which is very, very cool. I'm going to get Kelly to do a, a few other uh, stills in a second, and then we can do the long exposure one uh, with the app. Once it gets a bit darker, so we do a bit of a light painting and we'll see how that one comes out. When you're doing the light painting mode, you go into the camera app, you swipe to the you swipe to the light painting tab and when you press this button, your torch will light up, which is very cool. This will allow you to do light painting. You have to Click once the shutter button in the app, the camera opens, you're basically taking the photo and then you click once again to stop and that's it. So the camera is set now and I have Kelly there waiting for the photo and that's my frame. So you basically need to have it in a tripod just to make it easier but I don't have a tripod Show them what so using. I have a doggy waist uh, thing so it stinks like poo when I'm trying to take the photo okay you think you can do this yeah of course I can okay let's try this ready yeah one two three it says expected time 13 seconds Exposed time. Yeah. Like you going? No, no, no. Stop. Oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. You press the shutter once, the camera opens, you do the light painting, you need to press and hold the block kind of thing. Press and hold, you do whatever you want to do with the light painting, and then you press the shutter again. And then that's your photo taken. We will see how those photos look. I'm gonna now because it's getting dark, we're gonna go back, head to the car, and call it a day. So that's it for now. I decided to come back to the studio. It was getting very dark outside. Thanks for watching. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. Oh my life, wow.